So the first thing to look at when looking at the participants of a study is the sample size. As a very rough and oversimplified rule of thumb, a large group is better than a smaller one. This is because if we have a very small sample size, it's hard to know if our findings are representative or if it's down to random outliers being overly represented. The bigger the group, the less impact one person's performance in the test is. Essentially, it means we can say with more confidence that the results are significant. Let's say the average age of participants of a first year university student study is about 19. If you yourself work with final year high school students, say who have an age of 18, then you might be happy to draw a close comparison. However, if you work with much younger students, then although the results may still be interesting and informative, they may not directly translate. So if you're looking for more resources like this that are useful, research-based and easy to use, then go to the Teachers CBD Academy now. now.